Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make use of vibrate function in your phone inside your app. Okay. So currently I have nothing on my app and it's totally empty. So from this empty app, we are going to start over. Okay. Open your activity underscore main dot XML in text view. And here I want you to add one button. Okay. Make sure that layout width and height are wrapped to content which is for parent respectively then add id as at the rate plus id slash button one then id text set to let's say vibrate okay now when you're making use of vibrate functionality then you need to add that in Android manifest so make sure to use users and then permission then Android name and here you have to find vibrate permission so let's scroll down and check vibrate here okay so you have your vibrate permission ready now inside main activity Java create button button instance and inside protected void on create let's use vibrator to point out to vibrator service so let's type in public vibrator now first thing we will add button so button button then find view by id then r id button one next thing we will add vibrator functionality okay so vibrator equals to vibrator and then this dot get system service okay system service and then context dot vibrator service so let's go ahead and check our vibrator service here okay now once you call for vibrator service we have to enable on click listener okay then view dot on click listener and then public void on click now inside here we are going to make use of vibrator dot vibrate functionality up to 80 i am setting the vibrate mode okay and here we're going to use view arc zero okay so that should pretty much clear up our program so what we did is we added one button in our activity main XML and then inside main activity Java we created instance of button then vibrator and here we pointed out to respective IDs and for vibrator we get the system service 2.2 vibrator service make sure that your Android manifest has permission for vibrate functionality so we use users permission android name android permission vibrate okay now when we click on a button it should vibrate for specific seconds okay so we use vibrator dot vibrate and inside that method we pass on the number of millisecond we want it to vibrate okay so i want you to execute this code in your real handset and not emulator this is because you can get the idea how long this vibrate will go so 80 is pretty decent number you can go ahead higher as well or you can go for simple short vibrations up to 20 to 40 range which are very short about 60 or 80 you will have a bit longer vibrate okay so i want you to test this on real phone 
as this code works on my smartphone I suggest you to use it for your real phone and not emulator.